So this is the practical application section C question for the baked beans example. So we've got baked beans are ruining my life. Uh, a cook has quit his job because he has an uncontrollable fear of baked beans. Rob Griffiths uh, feels faint every time he sees what he calls the orange devils. I get shaky and I just have to run if they're anywhere near me. Rob thinks he developed rare leguminophobia. I don't know how to say that. The fear of baked beans after his brothers threw them at him as a child. I was um, a pub chef and breakfast was hard. Staff had to prepare the beans while I hid in the back. Now window cleaner Rob of Milton Keynes says he can't even go near beans when they're safely in tins. In Tesco, it is very distressing. Leading behavioural scientist Professor Carrie Cooper said it sounds like classic phobia, but there is help there if he wants it. So your question is to design a treatment program for him. So the psychological issue in this article is that Rob has a phobia of baked beans. Um, this could be treated by using systematic desensitization which is where Rob would have to um, come up with a hierarchy um, of fears such as um, seeing beans in a tin in fact maybe put seeing pictures of baked beans, beans in a tin, beans on a plate, to beans in his hands. Um, then Rob would be asked to um, just start at the f at the bottom of the hierarchy such as seeing the picture of some baked beans and be asked how he feels on a scale of 1 to 100 with 100 being very scared and 1 being not at all. During this um, the therapist would help Rob to relax with breathing and visualisation techniques such as imagining being uh, relaxing on the beach and listening to the waves. When he gets to one, then Rob moves up to the next part of the hierarchy until he gets all the way to the end and no longer fears them. This is based on the theory of classical conditioning. And at each stage, he is unlearning the fear of baked beans, which have been which have been previously learnt, likely when he had them thrown on him as a child. He will now associate the relaxation as the unconditioned stimulus with the neutral stimulus of the baked beans. Oh, beans with the unconditioned stimulus 
of the feeling of no fear. This then becomes the conditioned stimulus with baked beans, resulting in the conditioned response of relaxation and no fear. Um, as part of this, Rob could have cognitive therapy where he analyzes his thoughts and addresses these, such as having negative thoughts like they're going to get me can be challenged so that he knows he is in control. And you, I mean, you could mention flooding, but if you're doing systematic desensitisation, it kind of criticises the fact that you, you know, if you choose flooding, flooding is a different approach. You either do flooding or you do systematic desensitisation, and the systematic desensitisation is better because you get more marks for it. Um, reinforcement, you could actually mention. I think I might go on to that one. Maybe talk on economy. Talk on economy is where you get a token for every time you do something good, so it's positive reinforcement. So. Um, Another part of the treatment program could be token economy. So every time Rob touches beans, baked beans, he gets a token that can then be exchanged for a reward. This is based on operant conditioning as Rob is positively reinforced to touch baked beans and receive a pleasurable consequence in the form of a reward. So that should be enough really for your suggestion. I know you're evaluating it. So, a strength in using classical conditioning to treat um, Rob's baked bean phobia is that it is uh, scientific and measurable as it works. In fact, it's scientific as it works on the principles. of behaviour being observable and measurable. It is also reliable. It, it, also, it also uses standardised procedures to treat the phobia in terms of the hierarchy of fears and so is applicable and the outcome of Rob not being afraid of baked beans should be reliable. However, um, this way of treatment is reductionist as it suggests that um, it is possible to unlearn a behaviour as it has been previously learnt from the environment when actually it could have been caused by cognition and so this treatment program may not be effective.
it also doesn't account for individual individual differences as it may not be effective for Rob as his phobia. Is unusual. Um, what else can we say? Ecologically valid. Um, by giving Rob a token every time he touches baked beans, it is effective as it Apparently, conditions him to want to touch the beans to get a reward. However, however, this lacks mundane realism, as it is not something which would happen in. Rob's every day life as a window cleaner, well, as he shops in Tesco, probably better. Um, and so this treatment program may lack ecological validity and only be effective in a control setting. Because also after time, it may not continue to work once the rewards are no longer present. Another weakness of this treatment program is that it relies a lot on a therapist, which could be very expensive and the process takes a long time. Therefore, Rob may not be able to complete the program. and other methods, such as flooding, may be more appropriate. However, this method is a lot more ethical than flooding, as it allows Rob to come to terms with his phobia in his own time when he feels comfortable. So let's see how many more. So we've got some strength, classical tradition, scientific, it's in context, convention reliable, reductionist, individual differences, effective, but that's going to be realism, time, by the therapist. That's about 10 marks. So you've got enough there. Got enough there for six, I would say. So that's how you answer that question. Hope that was helpful. Ask me if you've got any questions.